we, the human species, face a planetary emergency. That phrase still sounds shrill to some ears, but it is deadly accurate as a description of the situation that we now confront. And as Dr. Pachari and his 3,000 colleagues in the IPCC have freshly reminded us, the accumulation of greenhouse gases continues to trap more and more heat from the sun in our atmosphere, threatening the stable climate balance that has been an unappreciated but crucial assumption for the development of human civilization. Just this week, new evidence has been presented. I remember years ago listening to the scientists who specialize in the study of ice and snow express concern that sometime toward the end of the 21st century, we might even face the possibility of losing the entire North Polar ice cap. I remember only three years ago when they revised their estimates to say it could happen halfway through the 21st century, by 2050. I remember at the beginning of this year when I was shocked, along with others, to hear them say it could happen in as little as 34 years. And now, this week, they tell us it could completely disappear in as little as five to seven years. One of the victims of the horrors of the Third Reich in Europe during World War II wrote a famous passage about the beginnings of the killings. And he said, first they came for the Jews, and I was not a Jew, so I said nothing. Then they came for the gypsies, and I was not a gypsy, and I said nothing. And he listed several other groups, and with each one he said nothing. And then he said, and then they came for me. For those who have believed that this climate crisis was going to affect their grandchildren and still said nothing, and who were shaken a bit to hear that it would affect their children and still said and did nothing, it is affecting us in the present generation. And it is up to us in this generation to solve this crisis. I am not an official of the United States, and I am not bound by the diplomatic niceties. <laughs> so I am going to speak an inconvenient truth. My own country, the United States, is principally responsible for obstructing progress here in Bali. We all know that. We all know that. But, but my country is not the only one that can take steps to ensure that we move forward from Bali with progress and with hope. 